It is important for people to know that no matter what lies in the past, they can overcome the dark side and press on to a brighter world. This passage comes from Dave Pelser's memoir titled A Child Called It, One, Ma One Child's Courage to Survive. The novel setting primarily takes place in Daly City, California, most scenes occurring in Dave's childhood home and Dave's elementary school, Thomas Edison Elementary School. The time frame of the novel is from the years of 1961 to 1973. The main characters include Dave Pelser, who is um, a victim of abuse. Um, Appearance-wise, he has many scars on his body and bruises all the time due to his mother's abuse. Another character is Catherine Rorva or Catherine Pelser, who is Dave's mother. She's an alcoholic and she takes pride in abusing her son, Dave Pelser, out of her five children. Um, another character is Stephen Joseph Pelser, who is Dave's father, and he is an alcoholic as well. He's a fireman, and he doesn't really take any action in helping Dave out the majority of the time. Um, four other characters are Dave's brothers, Ron, Stan, Russell, and Kevin Pelzer, who, similar to his father, don't really do anything. The other characters, Mr. Hansen, Miss Moss, the school nurse, Mr. Ziegler, and Miss Woods, are faculty members at Thomas Edison Elementary School who encourage Dave throughout the years and eventually are able to help him get away from his uh, abusive home. The novel centers around Dave Pelser's early life. From the age of 4 to 12, he underwent physical and emotional abuse from his alcoholic mother. The novel, the novel is not only a tale of survival, but it is also a story that demonstrates how, above all, one spirit can overcome anything. There are many conflicts in this novel, one being between Dave and his mother, who often abuses Dave just to take out her anger, another being between Dave and his nuclear family who the majority of the time does not help Dave out and just witnesses his abuse from his mother. Similarly, the faculty at Dave's school um, kind of act as bystanders. They know that Dave is being abused but they wait a long period of time before they intervene in his life. And lastly, Dave has a personal or an internal conflict with himself. He has to try desperately to not allow his mother to corrupt his character or to break his spirit and harm what's inside of him, not just on the outside. The novel discusses themes of abuse, courage, survival, love, fear, and isolation. The main lesson that the protagonist learns in the novel is that his past and the abuse that he underwent don't define him as a person and his past and his former abuse shouldn't change his outlook on people and the world in general. In my opinion, the most exciting part of the book is when the faculty at Dave's school contact the police and are able to uh, remove the custody of Dave from his mother. I highly recommend this book to anybody because it shows how one's will and one's spirit can overcome anything and it also demonstrates that your past doesn't really define you as a person and even if you underwent a trauma in your life you can overcome it. Throughout reading this novel, throughout the process of reading this novel, I was constantly on the edge of my seat and constantly wanting more and I really enjoyed reading this book because it gave me an insight on somebody else's life and something that a lot of people experience in their lifetime that I fortunately did, did not have to experience. So I think that it is important that other people read this book for the same reason to have more knowledge that child abuse and abuse in general is an issue and should be resolved and for that reason I think that this book and others like it are very important. I think anyone that likes memoirs and nonfiction novels will love this book because 
it is raw and it is truthful and things like this happen to people all the time and yeah I think that anyone can really enjoy and take away a lot from this novel.